This is Henry and this is Adam. Henry has a message and Henry wants to send this message to Adam. The problem is that the message is very important and cannot be tampered on the way while traveling from Henry to Adam. And if the message is tampered, then there should be a way by which Adam can identify that the message was indeed changed. So Henry comes up with a trick. Henry's message contains only numbers. So what he does is he takes the original message, calculates the sum of all the numbers in his original message, and then he creates another message which contains the sum information of the first message. Now Henry packs both these messages in an envelope and sends it to Adam. Now this is Jack and Jack wants to sabotage the communication between Henry and Adam. He intercepts the message on the way and then he changes some of the numbers in the message. Remember, Jack doesn't know about Henry's little trick. This message then reaches Adam. Now Adam knows about Henry's trick. So the first thing he does is that he checks both the messages. He calculates the sum of the first message and finds out that the sum calculated is not equal to the sum message. Thus finding out that the original message was tampered with. Now Adam can ask Henry to send the message again as he knows that the present message has been changed by someone. This is the basic idea behind checksum. It is used to check the integrity of the file. Now in real life the data integrity can be compromised by someone trying to insert something malicious in your file or it can be due to simple noise that arises during communication. Checksums aren't as simple as additions. But in reality, checksums are computed by complex cryptographic hash functions. The input to cryptographic hash functions are files and the output of these functions are checksums. These checksums are compared by the sender and the receiver. The sender can be a website from where the file is being downloaded and the receiver can be a person downloading the file. The website can post the checksum of the file on its web page. User can download the file and then validate the file by computing and comparing the checksums themselves. Now the checksum produced is always the same for the same file. But even the slightest of change in the file can bring a massive change to the checksum. This property of cryptographic hash function helps in checking the integrity of the file. Now let's take an example of the SHA-256 cryptographic hash function. In this example, the text is at the left hand side and the SHA-256 checksum is on the right hand side. Now let me change the text and add an exclamation mark at the end of the text. Now did you notice how the checksum changed? Well if you didn't, let's compare them side by side. Here, these are the texts. Notice how the only difference between the texts is of the exclamation mark. And now these are their checksums. And yes, the difference in them is massive. And remember, the entire difference in these checksums is because of an exclamation mark only. And this property of massive change in the checksum, when there is even a slight change in the message, helps in maintaining the integrity of the file. Now this is a fairly new YouTube channel and if you would like to support me to create content like this, sharing this video and subscribing to the channel would be highly appreciated. Thank you for watching and see you next time with another interesting idea or topic.